In this example, we're going to calculate the 95% confidence interval of the mean on Excel. So uh, the question that we're looking at is how much do students like Justin Bieber and the Kardashians, or specifically, how much do students at the university where I teach, like Justin Bieber and Kardashians, or even more specifically, the, uh, the grad students in the program that I teach in. So here we have some data on Justin Bieber and the Kardashians, and they were asked, uh, how much do you like uh, uh, Justin Bieber, and how much do you like Je uh, the Kardashians? And it went from one, which was about, to, uh, which meant they detested them, five meant that they loved them. And so it was a one to five scale, and the neutral point is three. That's kind of the, eh, don't dislike them, don't like them. So we're going to look at the scores and figure out, we want to ask, so what is the true population mean of all grad students um, like those in my uh, program? Because we've got a sample of about 25 or so, but we want to know what the uh, um, average is for all grad students. So we're going to calculate a confidence interval. And the way that we do this is we're going to use our data and then the data analysis tool which you can install um, free it comes with excel and you should watch the video on how to do it so i do data analysis and we are going to go to descriptive statistics and we click ok and we look for the input range and we're going to input both variables so i click up on bieber and I do shift right to get both columns, and I go shift down to select all of the column. And it's grouped by columns. The labels are in the first row. The label means the variable names. I want the output range so I click to be on this sheet, so I click output range. And then notice how the cursor went up there. I need to click down here, and let's just put it over here. And I want summary statistics, and I want the confidence level for the mean. So I click both of those, and I want the 95% confidence level, which is pretty standard. So I'll leave that as 95. And then I click OK. And we get a bunch of numbers. Let's round those down to two. Home, number, number. And now let's widen the column so we can read what we've got. Oops, what did I? And there, whoops, that was the wrong one to, let's not make that wide. Let's make this one wide. Well, we can make that narrow again. And so there we have, now we can read things pretty easily. Let's uh let's stick an extra row in there so we can see the separation between justin bieber and the kardashians so the mean for justin bieber is 2.52 so we've seen that before with the descriptive statistics and for the kardashians it is 1.52 now we could do a t-test and actually a matched pairs t-test to see if these two were significantly different. But we want to find what the two true population mean is. So what we want to do is we want to look at this down here, the confidence interval. It's 0.59 for Justin Bieber. So that means the true mean is 2.52 plus or minus 0.59. And for the Kardashians, it's 1.52 plus or minus 0.40. So what, how can we uh, report this? Um, we can say uh, for Justin Bieber, or for liking Justin Bieber, the 95% confidence interval, and so 95% CI is the standard abbreviation APA, um, equals 2.52, and then that's plus or minus that 0.59. So that's the, uh, um, the confidence interval for Justin Bieber. We can also write this as 95% confidence interval, space confidence interval. And then we can use the square brackets for the top and the bottom number. 
So 2.52 minus 0.59 is 1.93 space dash space. And then 2.52 plus 0.59 is 3.11. And then we use the closed square back bracket. So the true population mean is between 1.93 and 3.11 for Justin Bieber. Now that's interesting because that actually might mean that people at uh, grad students at APU are neutral about uh, Justin Bieber. Um, maybe they don't uh, dislike him as just by uh, chance that it came out below average. But in the 95% confidence interval, we have three. So maybe people are neutral or even a bit positive about him. We can't be sure. Now for the Kardashians, we can write the 95% uh, confident interval for the Kardashians equals 1.52 plus or minus uh, 0 0.40. So less variation with uh, the Kardashians. And that means that the 95% confidence interval um, with the square brackets goes from 1.02, because that's 1.52 minus 0 0.40, to 1.92. So here we can see that the, uh, um, the confidence interval does not even uh, contain uh, two, much less three. So we can be pretty sure that people have a pretty negative view of the Kardashians here. So that's how we calculate 95% confidence intervals, and it shows how we can interpret them also.